Hello, crafters. This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse, and I'm here with a My Creative Time Fall Project Share. This is a Happy Thanksgiving mailbox. This could be really cute for Thanksgiving, where everybody could put something that they're thankful for, or you could open it up and pull little notes out for Thanksgiving. So this is using the My Creative Time You've Got Mail die set. This whole die set creates all of this fun right here. In the previous release, I showed you this one. I didn't bother to put the flag on it this time. I just left it like a mailbox. So this is the Christmas version with the gingerbread lock. This is the Thanksgiving version with a pumpkin lock. I love how you can customize your locks. With the set, you'll get a standard lock but the customized locks and then these sentiments and this die set to cut that postcard comes from this set, which is the You've Got Mail add-on stamp and die set. So here is the dies that I use for the labels on both versions. And also these can be postcards that can fit in here. So I have some of them in here. And there's the pumpkin. You just saw the gingerbread. There's also a cup. So I could have done this like a pumpkin spice. That would be real fun too. And a heart. So that's great for Valentine's. On the back, these stamps though are more holiday themed. Hopefully Emma will come out with more stamps to go along with this set for all the other seasons as well. So where did I get the Happy Thanksgiving? I'll show you. <laughs> I got that from this set, the sentiment, happy Thanksgiving, and the other sentiments that are in my little mailbox. As a matter of fact, let me open up the mailbox. So you slide the lock off, you flip the top up. Now the construction of the mailbox dies. There is a video on the My Creative Time YouTube channel where you can watch this being put together step by step. So Emma breaks it down of how to put it together. Essentially, this is the front of the mailbox, that's the back, but you want to assemble all these pieces, including the top, before you seal everything up. Just keep that in mind. And here, that's that little lock, the little latch for the lock to go through. So now the sentiments come from the belly band here. So we have Happy Thanksgiving here, photopolymer stamps. I also use from this same set, made just for you, that's down here, baked with love, and thankful for you all in this set there's even a valentine's there's a halloween and there's a christmas so there's a lot of great sentiments in here to add on to this too as well so i have these in there cute little notes this would be cute at like the kids table for thanksgiving even the adults too so now the paper pad i used and see watch and you just slip it in the little slot right there it does stand up okay so <laughs> just want you to know that it is solid I didn't use 110 pound cardstock. I use basil. I think basil is 80 pound cardstock for the base of all of this. And then the pattern paper. That is from My Creative Time. Two patterns, actually. Gingerbread Kisses. That's the plaid that you see there. Very nice fall theme, even though everything else isn't, right? <laughs> but it's perfect. Springtime, and I came in with this green here for the leaves. So for the rest of my collage here, I'm using for the flowers. These are the daisy flowers, but you can use them as a sunflower too for fall. Just change the colorway. I use the big daisy die set. This is two of the die set, okay? Within the big daisy die, you just get this and that. Four pieces. I also use the daisy dies here, over here, okay? And then I use the circular centers for both. And the leaves in here, I'm using the fall leaf die. I think it turned out very cute, very fall. I love the little pumpkin too. Could I have taken this off and just kept the label like so? Yes, and it would still work just fine. Alrighty crafters, I just wanted to hop on real quick and show you my fall theme project for my creative time. Using this awesome die set, to create this customized mailbox. You can make a bunch of these. You could put little thank you notes for folks at work. Great for kids too, because they can drop in things in here. You can open it up and take everything out. It's a nice interactive set. Alrighty crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Until the next video, stay crafty my friends. Bye.